Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel uh, here at Crypto Nation. Hey, I just want to say thank you to my uh, recently new subscribers. And if you're new here, go ahead and um, uh, subscribe and hit the like button for uh, post notifications. It's totally free. And it helped me out and it helped out the algorithm. You know, it's just going to be a quick video. Let's get right on to it. So, um, oh, so yeah, so I've been watching Bitcoin for the last couple of days. Uh, Bitcoin has been sitting at about just over 29,000 for the past couple of days. It's not really going down that much, but it's not really going up either. I think it's trying to make up its mind where you know what it wants to do, uh, but it's still holding support. You know, there's uh, also there's been some rumors going on that we're we're getting ready to have another flash crash. That's what you know, people are saying for some reason, but we'll see. You know, that could just be a, a fud. It could be a rumor. Uh, sometimes when they say that in the market, you know, end up going up. So you know, we we all know this crypto market is unpredictable. So we we can't always go by what you know people are saying or whatever. We just got to do our own research. Literally, we just got to watch the markets, you know, uh, watch the markets like a hawk. Um, a couple of altcoins yesterday, you know, um, skyrocketed. You know, altcoins are pretty mixed. Some is going up, some is down. Uh, but, you know, if you're, in the, if you're in an altcoin that's, you know, it's kind of down right now. Hey, like I said, uh, we just got to keep doing what we're doing, accumulating. That's what I'm doing. Um, you know, just uh, keep holding, accumulating. But I, our next, whatever altcoin you're holding, I just want to say this. The next major leg up or the next you know pump you know it doesn't hurt to take profits off the table you know that's why it doesn't hurt to take profits off the table because you know right after that we, you're always going to have some type of low flash crash right after a major pump and I, that's what i've noticed if you if you're in a crypto that pumps like a 50 to 100 percent or even over 100 percent it trust me it's going to come back right back down just as fast or even faster you know as a matter of fact um i seen a crypto yesterday i forgot what it was called this crypto went up over 180 something percent uh, over over two days went up over 180 some percent and i was watching and i was like wow and you know um God, i can't think of the name of the token i can't think of the name but anyways um the token went from like literally went from like what like three dollars it went from three dollars all the way up to like 16 dollars within 24 hours and this crypto it literally went parabolic and then now I'm looking at it, it's, it's back down. It's back down to like $9. So that's why it never hurts to take profits off the table. You know, uh, you know, once you're up, you know, that's a prime example. So yeah, guys, it's good to accumulate, but you know, our, our next major pump, you know, it's always good to take profits and, um, you know, and then buy back in once it, once it goes back down. That's a, that's a smart way to play these markets, you know, over the next, you know, several months to a year. But but in the long run, a lot of these cryptos are gonna, are gonna go parabolic and be up pretty high in the long run so you know but i'm just talking about short term short term you do want to take profits short term and just keep you know adding up your bags that way you know as it, as it comes back down but anyways um um like i said different altcoins are um they're you know pretty mixed some is up some is down but you know let's just keep our eyes on the market there's still a lot of good news going on we you know we all know that the big banks is going to be using blockchain um and everything in crypto uh, I talked about it before. JP Morgan Chase has their, they actually have their own digital coin already. It's called JPM. Yeah, I think I talked about that last week. JP Morgan, you know, one of the biggest banks in the USA, they have their own digital currency called JPM. I'm not sure if it's traded on on any crypto exchange or not, but I'm going to have to look that up more. But anyways, um, that's what.